My name is Thomas. Um, I live in Walnut Creek and I have two ferrets. My name is Maria. I'm 12 years old and I currently have two ferrets. I'm Joseph. I live in Walnut Creek. I have had two ferrets for four years. My name is Kimberly. Right now I currently have one foster ferret. Ferrets are illegal because of a very old law that dates back to 1933 and they were put on a list of prohibited wildlife by the Department of Fish and Game. However, when you look into it further, it doesn't really make sense because ferrets are a domestic animal. So it doesn't really make sense that a domestic animal is on a list of prohibited wildlife. I do not really understand why ferrets are illegal. I hope I'm not a criminal when I have ferrets. I don't think I'm a criminal or anything with having one because it's just like any other pet and it's not like I killed anybody or anything, you know, and it's like, it doesn't seem like a big deal with owning something like that because it's just so small and everything. If I went to jail, do I think that people would laugh at me for why I was in jail? Yes. But technically, legally speaking, I have an illegal animal, which makes me a criminal. Okay, Frenzy. Ferrets are like, they're not a cat or a dog or anything you would find in a pet store. They're their own unique animal, and they're crazy and fun, and they're the best pet that anyone could ever have. And my experiences with a ferret are unbelievable. Frenzy's name is Frenzy because when I first got him, he was my best friend and he's Frenzy because he was crazy, but now he's Frenzy because he's lazy. Bye bye. This is Bandit, and he's four years old. They're the goofiest, silliest ball of energy and fuzz that you've ever seen in your life. I would characterize them as having two settings off and way on and when they're on it's like having a Tasmanian devil running through the house for two hours but in a really playful fun way. I like ferrets because they're cute, they're fuzzy, they're playful and a very long time ago they stole my heart and they haven't given it back to me. Akuma! What are you doing? Where are you? Are you over here? Well, let's wake up. Oh, you are sleeping. This is Akuma. He is about six years old. I've been in the ferret community for a very, very long time. There's young people that have ferrets. There's old people that have ferrets. And every age group in between. They're of all races, nationalities. I will say ferret owners are primarily women, but there are men that have them, but they're Republican, they're Democrat, they're you know, gay, they're straight. So they're of every you know, background, but the one thing that I can say that all ferret owners have in common, they have an absolute love and passion for their pets. They love ferrets, hands down. I never know if I can tell someone I have ferrets or if I have someone coming over to our place, you know, are they going to turn us in? There's always that fear. It's not the same as telling people, oh, I have a cat or I just got a kitten. Um, you have to be a little bit more careful, a little bit more cautious about um, who you tell that you have a ferret. And of course, with the law in California, the drawback is that you can't take them to the park. You can't take them down the street for a walk. Um, shopping centers that are pet friendly that people take their dogs to, you can't take your ferret out to. Sarah, the vet comes out and says to me, um, I have some bad news. The Fish and Game has made a determination that's, quite frankly, based on poor science. They haven't done their homework, they haven't looked at it. But their basic issues are that ferrets can go feral, one of their older issues is that ferrets were not domesticated. Another issue is that ferrets were um, dangerous to, to people and children. Are ferrets dangerous? Um, 
Are ferrets dangerous possibly to your socks? Rubber, yes. Are ferrets dangerous as a pet to other people, um, to their owners? No, they are not dangerous animals at all. Pretty much everybody now admits it. Even the fishing game has said, yeah, they're domesticated, but the real problem is that they can go feral. So they've, they've given up that stance, but they're still standing up onto the next one. Mm -hmm. What they don't say is cats are feral, and dogs are feral, <laughs> pigs are feral, horses are feral, sheep are feral, cows are feral, parrots are feral, rats are feral. you got all this whole bunch of feral animals and they're legal. So the, the ferret owner is the only owner in California that's penalized for his animal when there is no evidence that they can turn feral in California at all. None whatsoever. They're not feral in the rest of the country. They've been in this country for at least 200 years and more like 250 or close to 300. They're not feral. They were released in big numbers throughout history. And they're not feral. The ban on ferrets criminalizes good people for something that they can do legally in every other state on the continent. It's nonsensical for the state to ban a domesticated pet that is safer to the environment and to people than a cat or dog. I think ferrets should be legalized because they're the best pet that anyone could ever have. The numbers of ferrets in the state of California is estimated, I think, at a half a million right now. They're here. There's also lots of people that would love to move to California, would love to take job opportunities that they're given, that I personally know have said no to these opportunities because they can't bring their ferrets with them. Um, I also know people that have specifically moved to other states to take their ferrets with them because they're not legal here. We're not criminals. You look like a criminal. <laughs> Ferrets pose a threat to, to nobody. We've proven it. They know it. Um, and, you know, Ferrets bring people happiness. Life is short. Go for all the happiness you can.